हेलो जी वेलकम टू अनदर वॉट आई ईट यून अ डे प्रेगनेंसी वर्जन दिन की शुरुआत एज यूजल ऑरेंज जूस और भिगोए हुए नट से हुई मैंने ब्रेकफास्ट में खाया एग सो वी हैव ए प्रेगनेंट लेडी सम यंग बॉडी बिल्डर किड कॉलेज स्टूडेंट न्यूयॉर्क सिटी व्हाट शुड वी डिस्क्राइब हर लेट्स बी पोलाइट टुडे लेट्स बी पोलाइट एंड वी हैव अ गर्ल दैट ईट्स व्हाट एवर शी वांट्स व्हिच वी एक्चुअली रिव्यूड maybe 2 or 3 months ago and that's not the truth she is not eating what she wants and then we have uh another kid on vacation not the worst breakfast orange juice you know if it's fresh squeezed organic even just regular organic it's okay you know it is kind of sugary it does have a high flavonoid carotene content so it's not the best for everyone at least she's having some protein Uh you guys know I'm not much of a fan of avocado uh as with the orange juice it's much much higher in carotene it has anti nutrients in it I mean I've never felt good or digested avocado well I don't think it's something that should really be included in most people's diets ketchup not the end of the world bread as you guys know uh, we are now bread boys so I have to be a fan of bread but Yeah, breakfast could definitely use a little more animal protein and a little more starch instead of sugars and vegetables and stuff. And avocado toast वैसे मैंने अलग-अलग खाया था बट मैं उसकी वीडियो लेना भूल गई थी फिर मैंने खाया आमले का मुरब्बा मैं जनरली इसको I I don't know what this is maybe it's some like sweet Indian kind of dessert thing that's my guess. दो के खाती हूं बिकॉज़ मुझे मीठा इतना ज्यादा पसंद नहीं है. And then मैंने बनाई ये चने की दाल और ये ब्लैक वाली दाल को मिक्स करके आई थिंक इसको माँ छोले की दाल बोलते हैं प्लीज़ मुझे कमेंट्स में बताना क्या मैं सही बोल रही हूँ एंड देन कुछ तो भानवर में गप्पे मार रहे थे एंड साथ में मैं आई थिंक फ्रूट्स या नट्स कुछ तो खा रही थी एंड देन तड़का लगाया कोई भी अच्छी सब्जी बनाने का जो एक मेन बेस होता है वो होता है अच्छा तड़का अगर वो आप मास्टर कर लो तो सारी सब्जियाँ बहुत ही मज़ेदार की बनती हैं तो मैंने ये बनाई अपनी दाल उसके बाद मैंने लस्सी भी बनाई साथ में बहुत टेस्टी बनी थी एंड साथ में क्यों So it looks like she made a, a vegetarian Indian dish, rice, some sautéed onions and tomatoes, some cucumbers, and I don't know what's in that. Um, I would guess maybe it's a vegan protein shake. Um, that's my only guess. Uh, either way, she definitely does not have enough animal protein in the diet, and especially being pregnant, that's very very bad for like the soft tissue development and the overall health of the child. So. Kind of unfortunate to see that, even in cultures that are normally very healthy, and you're eating a lot of animal products, especially like butter and ghee, that this uh, vegetarian health nonsense has uh, kind of come to them too. I mean, you know, we could argue that oh, it's not organic. Oh, there's you know anti nutrients in this and that and that. But the point is, there's not enough animal protein, so she's not getting B vitamins, cholesterol, like amino acids, those really important building blocks. So. You know, regardless of the negatives in the diet, it's much more important that you have a base of high-quality animal nutrition. Cucumber ka salad, and ye thodi si bite ab logo ke liye, and it was actually very very yum. Uske baad maine apna green juice piya, isme kafi sari cheeze hoti hai. Yeah, I mean, this confirms her mental process. She thinks she's being healthy, but green juice is probably the least healthy health food to ever exist. Yeah, you know, it's usually from vegetables that are grown with poor water quality. So we know it's full of fluoride and all the negative crap in the water supply. And then it's just an anti-nutrient shake without even having calories. There's no calories in it. You're not getting anything your body needs. You're just dousing your liver with nasty juice. No benefit to it whatsoever. Well, I mean, maybe pooping your pants, but that's about it. Spinach vagera. And then raat ko mera mann kiya bhandare wale aloo ki sabzi khane ka. To aise kuch She had the same thing again. I don't know if she put tofu in there or some type of starch. लगा मेरा डिनर मिलती हूँ आपसे बहुत जल्द. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, I mean, from a pregnancy perspective, this is one of the worst diets we've seen. The the amount of animal protein is just so low. You know, she's not getting those nutrients we mentioned, especially B vitamins. So, kind of sad to see, but I mean. I think even the average American has more protein in their diet than this. And the last time we did these reviews, there was actually another Indian girl that was eating a lot of animal protein. So she looked a lot healthier. She looked a lot healthier. All right, so now we got some twelve-year-old fitness influencer. It's a full day of eating on my last super low-calorie day of bodybuilding prep. Calories are treacherously low. As usual, creatine and glutamine and daily supplements. Just 
I did a video on creatine a while ago, years ago now, about how it's bad for your kidneys and your organs, and I would never take it, and it can even cause hair loss. So people that think creatine is healthy, definitely not. And most of these normie supplements like glutamine, fish oil, you guys know I'm not that much of a fan of uh, in favor of pure mineral supplements, vitamins, things that you cannot get in your diet. Just got back from my last long fasted cardio session of prep. So right here, we have two whole pasture raised eggs with some egg whites and then a rise fruity crunch protein shake in this brand new Gila mix. A fruity crunch protein shake with eggs after doing fasted cardio on a stomach full of supplements. I mean, the kid's lucky he's young and can get away with this type of stuff, but surprisingly, he still looks good doing it. So this is... uh some type of weird carb depletion where I would never see it as beneficial. You know, protein is very hard on digestion and you just want to give your body the minimal amount of protein it needs, then add carbohydrates in. So I wouldn't be surprised if he got similar results on a diet that has a similar caloric intake with a more balanced macronutrient profile. Uh, you know, we have grass fed plain whey protein on Frankie's free range food. So it's not the worst thing, but they usually do add a lot of fillers and chemicals in these flavored ones. And the plain stuff is delicious. A lot of people like it. it tastes just great. Um, and then the eggs, I mean, he's getting corn and soy free. Da, da, da. Pre workout meal with absolutely no carbs, of course. We have grilled chicken, some seasoned cauliflower rice, broccoli, and one whole. So he's super, super low carb. Uh, I'm really not a fan of chicken. Uh, honestly, the worst protein source. So if he swapped that out for some red meat, uh, maybe had cauliflower or beans instead of broccoli. Uh, cauliflower rice is actually okay. You know, th this meal is is almost there. Uh, I guess a few simple things. Replace the chicken with beef. Remove the broccoli. And uh, just increase the food quality a little bit. And it would actually be a decent meal. It would actually be passable for this type of diet. At least he's got the fiber in there, you know? Pasture raised day. Last real workout of prep is done, and we have our post-workout meal. Very similar to the pre-workout meal. We got seasoned cauliflower rice, grilled chicken, sugar-free Polynesian sauce, and broccoli. But yeah, this would be so much healthier if he was just having red meat, remove the broccoli, and don't put sauce on it. But instead of an egg, we have 12 grams of almond butter. Not a almond butter. It's not bad, you know? You could have it as a treat, but... In the context of his diet, that doesn't necessarily have a super healthy source of saturated fat or cholesterol. It would make much more sense to have the red meat in there. Really exciting meal here, but I actually really enjoy it. We got some sugar-free Thai chili sauce on ground beef and some broccoli. Finishing off the day with one rise cinnamon toast protein shake here in this Gila mix and one whole pasture raised eggs with some egg whites. We've seen worse diets from bodybuilders. Uh, I mean... Not far off. As I said, it's not far off. Remove the protein shakes. Remove the broccoli. Maybe throw some potatoes in there too, some white potatoes. And, and this would actually be pretty good, you know, if he was eating beef as the main protein source. So he, he could definitely switch things up a little bit to be a lot healthier overall. And I, I like this kid because, you know, I was looking at his Instagram. He's natural. From what I can tell, he's at a very high level of what can be achieved like from a natural physique perspective. Um, so, so it's nice to see that uh, he's not completely juiced out the gills yet. But I mean, they still, you know, take pictures in like really good lighting with pumps. So still a little silly, but diet could be worse. All right, now we have a college student. Everything I ate today as a college student, let me show you what a day looks like. This morning, I woke up, immediately grinded out a Kahoot. Then at 7 a.m., headed to class, took a t yeah, I mean, most people are always on their iPad or have their phones next to them now. So the EMF is really, really bad for overall health. You know, most people can tolerate it when they're young, but it, it does take a toll and you would feel much better and have a much higher mental function using some radiation reduction products. You guys can see my shirt sticking out, my Wi-Fi shield and clothing. I'm usually in my canopy most of the day and sleep in the canopy especially. So I think... One of the biggest problems for a college student in general is just going to be a, a generally high EMF radiation environment. Test. And then the rest of class just played another Kahoot to study for another test. For breakfast, demolished a bagel and then right back to sleep. When I woke Bagel with small amount of cream cheese or butter, especially if organic, is actually pretty healthy to me. You know, it's, it's not bad. 
you're getting some carbs to feed your gut bacteria and some quality saturated fat, although doesn't look like that's what was on his bagel. It was time to go get a run in, so I grabbed my favorite daily trainers at the moment, the Invincible Run 3s, and cranked three miles around campus. After that, it was time to get ready for the day, so I showered up, had some electronic lights, walked over to Panda Express, and deleted. Electrolyte supplements are never good. You know, they use synthetic forms of minerals. Usually, they're not in the correct ratios. I've kind of wanted to uh, do my own electrolyte supplement, but... Uh, instead, we have an electrolyte water kefir on Frankie Strange Foods, uh, which is made from really, really high quality organic coconut water. We put Garrel Steiner water in there. It's like more natural electrolytes. Uh, and we did a video some months ago about electrolytes and what you should actually be doing to get them. Definitely not powdered supplements. There's just so many better options having like potatoes, bananas, coconut, magnesium stuff. Steak and rice, I'm always a fan of. We did a steak and rice bowl. It's chest. Okay, I mean, he didn't show much about it. Stay at the gym. Uh, so all right, there wasn't that much rice in the steak and rice bowl, and it had a lot of vegetables in it. Of course, it's, you know, Panda Express, so the food quality is going to be pretty, pretty low. At least he's getting some animal protein in this diet. Could be higher quality, could have a bit higher starch content and a better source of starch. We did a steak and rice bowl. It's chest day at the gym, so my girlfriend and I got a little workout in. Then I threw on another running fit to go run with the boys tonight. Call it the Boys Run Club. We try to do I, so I guess he's like an athlete or something. Do it once a week. After a six-mile run, went to Out and In. Burgers are cheeks here. You literally have to animal style. Everything. I mean, you know, as, as a cheat meal, getting burgers and fries is okay. But uh, the main issue is overall just too many seed oils in these fast food places. To me, you know, burger, meat and bread, french fries, potatoes, actually... Not bad. You could eat that every day and be okay. But now, with what all these places are using to cook the food in, it's just it's just not good for your cellular health. And you don't feel good eating it. Everything to make it taste any good. Had some BPN peak sleep to end my night. And every so he had a, a smoothie at In-N-Out and then um, a sleep supplement. So, look, he, he's got animal protein in almost every meal. You know, he's young. He's healthy. It's not the worst diet. It's not the best diet. You know, he could... Uh, Fix a few foods here and there pretty easily. You know, if he goes to Panda Express and just has some more rice and different vegetable choices, when he goes to In N Out, if he um, maybe just removes like some of the vegetables and reduces the anti nutrient content of the burger, it might might feel a little better, especially the low quality American cheese. You know, just having uh, you know some single patty burgers with onions would would be pretty good. All right, so now we have a New York City thotty, right? This is what I eat in a day in New York City. First, I went to Tompkins Square Bagels because I was craving a bagel so badly. They have everything, but of course, I got... Yeah, that's a $20 bagel for sure. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese, and I get it with salt, pepper, ketchup, and toasted on it. I've had a bacon, egg, and cheese in so long. Maybe when uh, Frankie Boy gets his farm, he'll be able to start having some normal foods again. Everything bagel. It was so good, and then I made a bunch of new friends. I like that because now with all the vegan nonsense and vegetarian BS, people are afraid to have stuff like bacon, egg, and cheese. Uh, but... I mean, as you guys know, it, it could be much, much higher quality. You know, everything in New York City for the most part and all these delis, especially even place like Tompkins Square Bagels, the lowest quality bacon, lowest quality eggs. They're not using organic flour for the bagels. So uh, at least there's some animal protein. Yes, they were so fun. And then Alyssa called me and I decided to meet her in Jersey, brought her some coffee, of course, to miss sleep. Got to douse the brain with fluoride. People just made their own coffee with high quality filtered water and organic beans be so much healthier. Let alone all the chemicals and sugars and stuff they add to make it taste good. Then the ice in there too, if it's an iced coffee, is full of just tap water chemicals. Being beauty, I got a lavender, she got vanilla. Then we went to sushi for dinner. We got a bunch of rolls, yellow tail, spicy tuna. I also got the spice. Yeah, I just never feel good after eating sushi. Rice is so high in arsenic and most fish is so polluted, especially the regular sushi places you go to. I don't consider it a healthy food. See garlic eggplant, that was so good. And of course we had to get a little dessert after. So we found this dessert shop. They had literally everything in every flavor. It was so aesthetic. We couldn't decide what to get, but then we got these mini donuts, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, and they were so good. It was literally the perfect day of eating. Yeah, sometimes ice cream isn't that bad, but a lot of the times these donuts are usually fried in vegetable seed oils. And they'll even make the actual donut with margarine instead of butter. And then same thing with the filling, margarine instead of butter. So you really want to ask the place like what they're using in the donut. So it, it could be bad. It might not be that bad. Yeah, but these places are sometimes so expensive. I went to this one in New York uh, called Sweet Rehab. And it was like $17 
for one profiterole. Like like a few bites of a dessert, seventeen dollars. I mean, the people in there were wearing like suits, and it was really high end, and it had like a full Michelin kitchen back there. So I guess that's why they were charging so much. But it was, this place doesn't look as expensive as that was. So this girl's trying to be edgy, saying, "Oh, I'm eating whatever the f I want," but. Last time, she clearly had some type of conscience where she thinks being vegan is healthy because I think if most people were eating what they wanted, they'd have, a you know, like maybe some bacon and eggs for breakfast, some cheeseburgers here and there, not bananas and acai. So let's see what she has. What I eat in a day is a girl who eats whatever the frecciarosa she wants. We started the day with a nice big bowl of banana and raisin porridge. I topped it with a couple of squares right, of I mean, I eat oatmeal for breakfast, so I can't complain that much. super fancy pistachio paste that I treated myself to this week. I've gone through it way too... <laughs> Treating yourself to pistachio paste? I don't know about that being a treat. Sounds like some... New World Order bug stuff. Quickly, but it really is delicious. And it's it green too. Perfect on top of this porridge, and afterwards the bill. I had a little shot of espresso. At lunchtime, I had a couple of slices of this tomato and friarielli pizza, and when I got home, I snacked on some grana padano cheese. Well, okay, I mean, could use a little more animal protein. Pizza for lunch, just cheese. Then she snacks on some more cheese when she gets home. Maybe she is craving animal protein. Uh, overall, you know, the breakfast wasn't organic, so there's some downsides to that, but that's actually close to a breakfast I would eat if all the ingredients were organic. I mean, pizza, obviously, I don't eat. Uh, we did do a pizza recipe some time ago with just mushrooms and onions on it, but just the tomato sauce and cheese for most people, especially like conventional mozzarella, is so inflammatory. Gruyere, however, that she snacked on when she get home is usually pretty high quality. It's it's okay. Cooking up some mushrooms to make into a grana padano cheese and mushroom omelet. Unsurprisingly, added a couple of shavings of the cheese in there. Finished cooking. You know, vegetarians usually aren't that healthy, and they're always eating so much like conventional dairy and eggs. You know, red meat a lot of the time is a much cleaner and more balanced source of nutrition. Although, at least she's getting some eggs in here. In the omelet. And served it up this would be a good a breakfast, just those kind of not a dinner. The jar before having a couple of chocolate wafers. That's all for today. How can you say you eat whatever you want, but you're vegetarian? Like, clearly not. But at least, you know, she did go heavy on the dairy and the eggs today. Uh, maybe a quick one. Kids on vacation. Maybe change the pace. Who knows? Hi, here's what I eat today. But on vacation, we started our day off at like a little cafe, and I got a scroll, which is like a cinnamon bun slash croissant, and it changed my life. Like life changing. It altered the path of my life, and I'm on a new path now. I also got a chai. It was so good. And then I got pizza. I got two pieces of pizza. I had so much pizza on this trip, but I cannot stop. I love pizza so much. And then I had an apple because like, you know, fun. And then we went to see a movie, so I obviously got popcorn. It was so good. And then I had some carrots, but I forgot to it. And then we went to get burgers. That was such a good burger and fries. Oh my gosh, today everything was so, so good. Okay, bye. I mean, if the healthiest thing you eat at the end of the day is a burger and fries. <laughs> All right, so, so for breakfast, a pastry sometimes isn't that bad. You know, if there's not any seed oils or butter in it. Uh, pizza, especially what looked like low quality pizza, maybe one of the worst things you could actually eat in general. It's pretty bad. Um, it's just too inflammatory. I mean, an apple, obviously he's not going organic with that. Uh, had a carrot, no reason to eat vegetables in my opinion. You know, vegetables are kind of excluded. If you're not getting caloric nutrition from something or fiber or something good, then I wouldn't have it. And as we said earlier with the other In-N-Out burger meal, that, that same stuff kind of applies here. You know, they use a lot of vegetable seed oils to cook the food, the french fries, even the burgers, the patties, and the bread. So once we can remove the vegetable seed oils, then we can actually consider talking about the overall food quality of the meal. But, you know, we can't talk about quality if you're poisoning yourselves with uh, this high omega-6 stuff. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed these critiques. If you guys want to check out frank Stefano.com. You can support me before I completely lose my mind working all day every day. But as usual, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I will see you guys soon.